What is up guys? My name is Mark Sanmarino. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Blog. Today guys, we're going to do an unboxing on my Revo E-Revo 2.0. Yes, this is the second one I have. And I think these unboxings are cool because if you got an E-Revo and you're wondering if it came with everything or you're wondering if it came with everything, I guess. I've, I've, I've had that problem before. I bought something I was like, did mine come with that? I wasn't sure. So I always go look for unboxings and unboxings are always fun. So again, this box was actually already opened at one point. The guy basically, basically the hobby shop in the RC world bought it from a guy who had this thing brand new and never used it. So it is brand new. When I say brand new, I'll show you. Ooh. Ugh. All right, so in the box, you have TQI radio, my new favorite radio. It's not my new favorite radio, but it's a good bash radio. Did a video recently on it. So, put that back in there. Put that back in there. So, it only came with one bag of things. And in this bag, We'll go ahead and open it up. See, even the bag wasn't open. Go ahead and open it up, and we'll pull this stuff out. So it comes with the stickers. Just a small little sheet of stickers. It has the numbers on it. I guess so you can put on your wing. It comes with this stuff that I have no clue what it is. Maybe a different battery mount, I'm assuming. I have no clue what that is, actually. Your owner's manual. I wonder what that thing is. I have no, not a clue. Now I gotta find out. Man, I, I gotta know. Some marketing material. All right, we're gonna go look and see what this piece is. All right, found it. They're battery compartment springs. I guess if you have a smaller battery, you don't want them rattling around in there. Um, there's a couple of other tools in here that you don't want to lose. It comes with this bag of tools. This tool, actually, I'll just go ahead and open this up. It comes with a wheel wrench, which, interesting fact, guys. The uh, Revo comes with 17 millimeter hexes, but the hexes are keyed. Um, what that means is you can't use these wheels on another car. You can put any other 17 millimeter hex wheels on this car, but you can't use these particular wheels on a regular 17 millimeter hex. Kind of lame. Anyways, it comes with a wheel wrench. This is a plastic wheel wrench. I don't know if I'd use it. Maybe I will. Who knows? And then it comes with some hex wrenches. This piece right here is key. This right here. This tool, you actually use this tool. You don't want to lose this tool. I I don't maybe I don't know if they make a metal one, but this tool is actually pretty cool. This is what tightens the the caps for your pillow balls and your on your hubs. You need that. That's the only tool that will be able to do it. I guess you could try to get a needle nose or try to squeeze your fingernails in there, but this piece comes in super handy. Do not lose this. This tightens the shock caps and this tightens the shock bottoms. And this, I don't know what it does. <laughs> so here's the car. Ooh, golly. Looks super good. Interesting fact about, another interesting fact about the E-Revo 2.0 is you have to run two batteries. Kind of lame, but not, Oh, look at that. That almost comes across too, too soft. So the way you solve that problem is you actually stretch those bullets out and then it will work. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Yeah, even that one is too compressed. So I caught that because it looked like this was halfway open. Car, brand new. I told you it was brand new. Ooh, it's so clean and it did it does come with the big heavy-duty drive shafts so one thing I will tell you guys that the Traxxas guys did warn me they said as soon as you get this car do the software update it needs a software update I'm not sure what it needs out of it but they were saying that it's like a mandatory software update so right when you unbox this car get the uh, remote hook it up to your Traxxas link app and update your software that noise, by the way, are the guinea pigs downstairs. Ta-da! This, uh, the little one 
one knob lifting body thing is really growing on me. I'm starting to really like it. The key is, is you want to come in from the from the back. So, ooh, that's kind of bad. So you slide the little hook under the front shock tower. I say no. I say I was good at it, and I can't get it on there. There you go. And then, boom. Very cool. Super cool car. So it didn't really come with much. Again, do the software update. If yours was like mine, where those bullets are a little loose, you just get something to stretch them out. Actually, I'll probably go, I'm gonna go do that now. I'll see if I can go find something to stretch it out. And they'll be tight, so let me go do that. I'll be right back. All right, I hope you guys can hear me okay. So see how this is really loose? This is really not good. There's a lot of current that goes through there. You don't want it to be that loose. Looks like the black one actually probably needs to be tightened also. Same with that one. So the way you get those to be tighter, I brought two mil, not big enough. Sorry, I'm breathing so hard. Okay, so here's a like a screwdriver. And you basically just kind of work the bullets open a little bit. See, it's already tighter. So I'm just gonna work it a little bit more. There we go. Looks like they're really work now. So now, yeah, see now they're much tighter. So the connection is much stronger there. Get this one open, open up. This is like a perfect size screwdriver, but you can really use any screwdriver to stretch them out. Phillips head. Oh. So this is probably good now too. Yep. Ah. Sorry guys, I don't want to breathe so hard. I have to go up the stairs. Okay, that one should be good. Oh yeah, see now the connection is nice and strong. Uh, maybe that happens because it's been sitting in there for a while, but see now you can't just you can't just pull them apart. And if that ever happens again, you just get that same screwdriver and tighten them down. So there's that. All right, well, there you have it, guys. That was the unboxing of the E-Revo 2.0. If you have that problem, check your connectors. Um, the connectors that I showed you how to tighten, check them out of the box. Maybe if they're sitting in there too long, they get worn in. You want those to be tight. I showed you how to fix it. Double check those, but I'm super excited about getting this thing running. I'm not gonna get it running next log because I still need to finish the review and the testing on the max, but this thing will be next and we'll actually do a comparison between all the 10 scale Traxxas cars. So make sure you like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later guys.